So I have been putting this video off forever. This is a, uh, a look at one of the best spells in Noita. It's called the Chainsaw. And while it is probably one of the most powerful spells in all of Noita, when you begin to break down how it works, some people get a little, a little lost. There it can be some math behind it and uh, people fall asleep on you. But I'll do my best to explain it quickly. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will be able to build wands just like this pretty easily. And at the very least, if you're not building wands like this all the time, you at least understand how they work. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, get into it. So we are actually going to use this wand right here at the start that has some very unusual stats so I can explain some of the basic rules of um, non-shuffle wands that can make you like, uh, you know, get a basic understanding of what's happening here. So, okay, let's start off with uh, two spark bolts on this wand. So every time you move from one block to the other, that is cast delay. However, if you were to put a um, double and then cast both of these at the same time, both of these spells become one block. So it's just the cast delay is only, it's not like, for example, if I shoot this and it moves from this spell to this spell, that's a five second cast delay between them because it says the wand's cast delay is five seconds. And then if I had uh, another spell, and I go, it goes from this spell to this spell, this would be a five second count from this moving from the spark bolt to this digging bolt. However, if I put a double here, it'll fire both of these spark bolts at the same time, and then it'll take five seconds to remove from this group to the next spell. So yes, it's from square to square, but some of the squares become combined when you use multicast is what I'm trying to get you to understand there. So let's go ahead, let's do a visualization of firing two spark bolts with a wand with such unusual stats. Five second recharge time, or five second cast delay time, 0.17 second recharge time. Let's fire it. So as you can see, it's taking forever. So that's the five second cast delay, and then it fires again. So what you're supposed to be seeing is whenever you cast the first one, it takes five seconds to move here. You fire the second one, it actually hits the recharge and sets back to the beginning but anytime it resets the wand, it fires off both the recharge time and the cast delay. It does not add them together. It simply fires off both of these and whichever one is the larger number will be the one that you have to wait on. So for example, if your cast delay was three seconds and your recharge time was four seconds, then obviously the recharge time is the longer number. So that's how long you're gonna have to wait uh, for your wand to reset. Um, so let's, move a little forward now I, I don't know i feel like i could rant on that for a bit longer but i don't want to you know go overkill mode if you're confused at all maybe replay that back uh, so you can get a, a an understanding of it now let's bust out the chainsaw <laughs> let's actually get into the spell that this video is about here and the chainsaw removes 0.17 second recharge time so that's the exact amount of recharge time on this wand cast delay however is, is our issue right now five seconds but if you look on the chainsaw's description, it says it also has some magical properties. So the chainsaw's magical property is that at any time when it hits this chainsaw, it removes all cast delay currently in the wand. So let's fire it off right now. And you'll see it is going instantaneously. There is no hesitation between spells. That is to show you that cast delay is now zero Recharge time is also zero because of the removal of 0.17 seconds. So you get this fast firing wand. So if we were to put a double here, what is happening is we are putting a chainsaw here and here. It's not necessary in this scenario, but I'm going to show you why I'm doing it. Because let's say instead of putting this double here, we just put lightning straight up and we fire it. We, we have this long wait. Because remember... What's happening is it is firing this chainsaw. There's no cast delay. So as it's moving from this spot to this spot, it does it instantly because there's no cast delay. So when it hits the lightning, then the lightning does have cast delay. In fact, the lightning adds 0.83 cast delay. So what you're wanting to do is you, you actually want to cast these at the same time. You want to cast the lightning and the chainsaw at the same time. Because if you do that, fires like that. 
instantly emptying the, uh, the mana out of the wand. That is because, remember, our recharge is not our issue because we know the chainsaw is removing all recharge from the wand. However, the lightning bolt is adding 0.83 to this little spell clump along with the five seconds, but then it hits the chainsaw, removes all cast delay. So if you reverse this order, what's gonna happen is this wand has five second cast delay. It sees the chainsaw, removes the cast delay down to zero, but then it sees the lightning bolt next and it says, oh, okay, add 0.83. So in this scenario, you actually end up with a slight hesitation between shots. That's that 0.83 that the lightning is adding. Uh, another way you could do this, uh, is what I was about to show earlier, is you can put a double here. And what's going to happen is it's going to cast one spell. There is nothing here. So it's going to wrap and it's going to grab this chainsaw and place it here. So in this scenario, the chainsaw Gant is in the correct spot. So it allows me to rapid fire. You can see this wrapping taking place. If you cast it near the spell board, you can see uh, it's kind of hard to time. There you go. There's a chainsaw at the beginning and a chainsaw at the end, even though we only have one chainsaw on the wand. This spell board can be very helpful for learning stuff like that. Um, all right, so let's uh, move a, another step ahead here. Um, so a current issue right now with this wand is our mana issue, right? Because we're firing this thing and it's emptying out very fast. Well, if we add something like an add mana, Usually one of the things with an add mana is you have to calculate for the added cast delay that the add mana adds because it says it adds 0.17 cast delay. Well, chainsaw removes all cast delay. So by adding it to the chainsaw, we're literally adding no cast delay and we're just benefiting from the add mana. So now when we fire it, you'll notice that we actually could fire it quite a bit. Even though we're only adding 30 mana, it's adding, it's adding a lot more. That's because... This chainsaw, watch watch the board back here. It's adding it at the beginning. If I can get it to, if I can time it right. There it is, it's adding it at the end as well. So it's putting this chainsaw here and here, and this add mana is attached to it in both scenarios. So this mon add mana, which is worth 30, is actually adding 60. And you could even do it like this, and now, instead of adding um, 60, you're adding 120, because it's doubling both of those. So you could truly fire this forever and, uh, and never run out of mana. All right, let's take this uh, a little bit further. Let's go ahead and look at a different wand and uh, see if it will help you guys understand some uh, mechanics here. So this one has a cast delay of 0.83 and a recharge, a recharge time of 1.17. So I know I'm working with chainsaws here, so I can make I can make that cast delay go away with as long as I'm casting spells in a group. So we won't worry about the cast delay right now. We'll focus on just the recharge. We want to make that recharge time um, zero. So I guess you just have to ask yourself, how many chainsaws will it take to remove all of that recharge time? You can sit down, do the math if you would like, or you could just throw chainsaws on, chainsaws on there and then every once in a while fire it and see if it's going smooth. Nope, not yet. Almost. That's very close, right? If you were to add like a double at the end, this double will wrap and put two chainsaws here. So this is the equivalent of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the equivalent of eight chainsaws. And as you can see, that is enough. So if you did the math, I think it's exactly seven chainsaws is the, is the amount you're looking for. So this is a lot of chainsaws to just put like a single spark bolt at the end. You wouldn't really want to put them in this huge pile like that just to fire off single spark bolts. Though you could, and this this can, you, you know, you can still get by on this, but if you really want to be efficient, you might as well start um, casting these in a clump like, uh, like so. So at least it'll cast four of these chainsaws at one time to speed up the process a little bit. That's because even though you've taken your recharge time to zero and your cast delay to zero, the more chainsaws you add onto a wand, it still takes more frames to read through the chainsaws. So don't think just because you take it to zero, zero, you could have like, there's a difference between three chainsaws if it takes the stats down to zero, zero, and 18 chainsaws still taking that exact same wand down to zero, zero. So it takes more frames to go through all those chainsaws, even though in both scenarios, all the stats may be removed. Um, all right, so, in this kind of wand, where you need to put a lot of chainsaws to remove Castellay, 
uh, one of the things that you really like to do and, and take advantage of is something like a, um, a trigger. And these can be really powerful because what you can do is you can actually put uh, like a quad or whatever multicast you have. Make sure you put the exact amount of chainsaws or whatever, uh, you know, whatever things that remove uh, recharge time on it. And, and then place that into this wand. So hold up. Let me see if I can do this correctly. Uh, okay, so we're going to put this double here. And then we're going to place this here. And we're going to fire it. Not quite fast enough. Remember I said it was, uh, what was it, seven chainsaws we needed? So one, two, three, four, five. And this one's wrapping, so it's pretty much six. We just need one more. So what we could do is move that over and add a double. So the quad goes one, two, three, four, and then one. And then we can add anything that removes recharge. So this works. Digging blast also removes recharge. You can put another digging bolt, whatever. And this will wrap and still place it at the end. So this now rapid fires. This is pretty much, picture this whole group right here is one spell. This is one spell clump. Similar to how this, uh, this a single chainsaw and lightning rapid fires. Same idea with this spell chunk right here. The only difference is we're getting better value out of the spell chunk right here because these chainsaws within it are still removing um, recharge time because uh, one chainsaw alone would not be enough to remove all of that recharge time. However, if you add all of these together, this one and the one that it's wrapping and putting at the end, that is enough to rapid fire this. Um, I don't want to touch on too many things, so I don't want to overwhelm you, but let me show you this exact same build. If we move it, actually, hold on, we'll leave it here for a moment. Let's swap out the chainsaw with a luminous drill, and let's fire that. So, you see that hang up? If, if I am firing this, and it's rapid, and then I remove, I move in this luminous drill, and it's slow, then I know that the problem is cast delay, because... The luminous drill removes the exact same amount as the chainsaw, yet the, the luminous drill only removes 0.587 or 0.58 seconds of cast delay while the chainsaw removes all cast delay. So if you were to move this over to a wand like this, let's scroll on over. I'll show you the stats in one moment. And it's not necessary that you have all of these spells to make this wand work. The stats on this wand are much better. But we're just for the sake of, you know, not overwhelming you guys with information. We'll just keep the build exactly as we had it. So we fire this. It's back to rapid fire. And as you can see, the, the stats aren't like that bad on this wand. Like you could even remove this one and, and put it back to just a regular quad. This is still good because it, it doesn't take much to remove all of the, uh, the recharge on this wand. In fact, it only takes two chainsaws and we have way more than that here. Um, but the reason you would you would move those over is because let's say you wanted to rotate in this luminous drill and we do we fire it now The luminous drill is allowing us to rapid fire it um, So what you could do is you could actually slide these over And put an add mana at the front Because the cast delay is currently 0.17 The luminous drill removes 0.58 so that means we have uh, a window of 0.4, uh, what was that? Uh, 0 0.5, yeah, yeah, 0 0.41. We have 0 0.41 to work with. So we can add on another 0.17 Castellate from this add mana and still be fine. Still could rapid fire it. We Hell, we could add on another add mana. Oops. And still be fine. As long as... Once you add these two add manas together and the, the Castellay's add mana, like the, the wand's Castellay, I, I said that weird, the Castellay's add mana. So the Castellay, Castellay, and then the Castellay from the wand. So there's three of them, this one, this one, and then the natural Castellay, which they're each 0.17. So it makes it simple, I guess, in this scenario, but that's still less than the uh, negative uh, 0.58 uh, seconds that the uh, Luminous Drill is reducing off the wand so it's still good but if you ever did pass that threshold because maybe the wands uh cast delay like this one down here that that cast delay was just too large um then in that case that's when you have to use the chainsaw at the front uh, however it can be nice to to put the luminous at the front because you can you can dig while you're shooting at stuff 
But just know that uh, if you wanted to build something like this lightning wand that we had built earlier, you will not be able to do that with this luminous drill because, well, in this scenario, this wand definitely wouldn't because it has a five second cast delay. This luminous drill is only removing 0.58. Uh, but even if that, uh, even if you took that down a ton, took that cast delay down to zero on the wand, this lightning bolt is adding 0.83. So when you add this luminous drill uh, at, at, to the end of the, the cast, it's only going to remove 0.58 from the 0.83. So it's still going to add some cast delay there. So chainsaw is really uh, the the best at uh, those large cast delay removals that are that are needed for spells like lightning bolt. Anyways, I don't want to overwhelm you with information. Sorry, I know I, that this is why I put off this video for so long. I don't know if I have done a very thorough job at explaining it. I didn't even go into the reduced recharge, but that's another one that you can kind of manipulate um, the stats on your wand with. But uh, I feel like I've thrown so much at you guys in this one video that if I see you guys posting comments below saying like, I still don't know what the hell you're talking about or like your brain hurts or whatever, um, you know, it, it, then maybe I'll go into like a second version of the chainsaw explanation. But hopefully this is enough to get you going and to uh, at least get you understanding what the heck is taking place whenever you cast crazy wands like this. Good luck out there, you guys. Stay sweaty. And like I said, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Deuces.